So this was a PlayStation 1 survival horror game that I never got a chance to play back in the day. I remember seeing ads for it and shit. It's like some kind of psychic-based survival horror thing with a very anime-looking thing. Like, I even I remember the ads being extremely anime. Let me move this up around on my, uh, on my screen so I can kind of... But it had a very anime look, but supposedly has the Resident Evil style tank controls. I saw really good reviews of it, and yeah, this is like some weeb survival horror, holy shit. Kinda looks like a character, like a mix of Gara and those kids from Knights. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. Thanks for the sub, Ben. And also, thanks, Cregan. Alright, Galarians, let's go. Yeah, he basically looks like every short haired anime main character. Well, medium length haired. I don't know what that, like, I just, I saw that being a cool picture from Galarian, so I was I guess that's definitely what I'm using for the, uh... I sometimes have a frightening dream. Thumbnail for this. Oh, there's gonna be some good voice acting in this, I can just feel it. Michelangelo Memorial Hospital, I don't know. Heart rate the Ninja, <laughs> the Ninja Turtle died. Ed it's very sad. Shit, let me move this around still. Minister the Nalcon. Won't that destroy his brain cells and prove fatal? It might, but we must follow the clinic chief's orders. Okay then. Rion. Oh, those are supposed to be pain noises. Rion. Who are you? Let's do surgery on this kid while he's wearing a leather choker. Me. Why are you calling me? I'm scared. <sighs> Let's inject shit into his neck while he's wearing a leather choker. You know, not take it off. Do any kind of normal surgery. I've never heard of such a quick dosage cycle. Me too. Thanks I'm afraid it may have destroyed the patient's memory. I'm surprised he's even still alive. Alive. I'll go check the data. You know these voice actors aren't as bad as I was hoping for. They're not great, but they're not. It's it's not up to the level of badness. It's are right, cool. Let's get a feel for this. Cool. It's it's basically exactly Resident Evil controls. Oh, I uh, that's like a little psychic move that I have, I think. Oh, we got HP, AP, and Nalcon. So far, I'm getting more enjoyment out of the, the movements and the voice acting. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. Next to the sub bingo waiters. This is a list of drugs we plan on administering, or have already administered to Ryan. All of them have the potential to greatly enhance strength, but we do not yet know what long-term effects they may have on the body and DNA. We hope to collect the necessary data as soon as possible. Beject. Beject is a gun-shaped injector for injecting PPECs into the body. Load drug cylinders into the device, press the muzzle against the neck, then pull the trigger. I'm guessing that's what they were trying to do before. Melotropin. Melotropin interferes with objects in various ways. It has been proven to have various effects depending on how it is used, such as psychometry, or reading minds or psychometry for reading minds 
scanning for extracting information and telekinesis for moving objects. There is no need to administer this drug to Ryan. Nalcon. That's why I have this in me. Enables patients to focus their mental energy to produce a powerful sh That's probably that move that I used already. The shockwave's power depends on how the drug agrees with the patient and their mental energy and brain waves. Red. Enables a patient to excite an object's molecules, causing it to heat up. If continued long enough, the object will burst into flames. D. Felon. That sounds like a shitty rapper. I just pictured one of those uh, CG covers, like Big Bear or some shit, doing things. Enables patients to form an anti-gravity field around an object. This produces an invisible wall that isolates and entraps the object. Depending on their ability, patients may even be able to move job objects they have entrapped. Short. This, is this going to be a list of every item I'm going to get in this game right now? Impedes the function of other drugs. When patients exceed a certain level of activity, they'll start to sweat, feel feverish, and have all their blood pressure rise. All abilities become uncontrollable and dangerous. Consciousness fades and balance is lost, ultimately leading to death. Recovery capsule. How many wounds? Del Meltor, Apollinar, Skip. Oh, Alright. I guess I couldn't scroll back. Did I ever play Siren? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, you know what? The first Siren I watched my friend play, I played a couple stages. Um, but yeah, Siren was dope. I played that PS3 one that came out. Thank you, Tora. Devil may die, but watch me for about two months. Hell yeah. You need a storage cabinet for PPEC, so you need a key to open it. Hell yeah, what time is it in Germany now? What is it like? Three in the morning or something? Sup, Ben and Reibft, you budge. We already we already fumbled with this door. It's not a case of we read it and uh You're in Australia too, hell yeah. This is what they examined me with. Alright, so that door like it looks open, I'm guessing. Won't budge. Storage cabinet for PPC. Using the key to open it. Is there anything on the table? How did I get out of that bed? Was it by my own power? Oh, I had to. I guess I had to look at every item in the room until it uh you are did a thing. Wrong in this world. Thanks for the sub, James Galley. There's something wrong with the in-game audio. What do you mean? Let me see, is it like... There's, what is it, like, like an echo or some shit? You are everything that's gone wrong in this world! Thanks for the sub, Sugar Plum. I was thinking maybe it was because yeah it might just be what the game sounds like there's like a fuzzy sound effect and shit. there's a beep in the room Oh, they are, there is no footstep sound effect. He's just walking. Except for some reason there was a footstep sound as I went to the new screen. 
What a papa double chin. Wait, I don't understand. Here, how did I get out of that bed? Was it by my own power? That's what I looked at, and then it came out around the time Resident Evil 3 came out, I think. And I have seen the crossed comics. You're a dead game over. Wait, so I wasn't supposed- whatever the fuck happened there? <laughs> fuck. What the fuck happened? Alright, so I- so I charged it up. <laughs> And, like, can I just, like, blast the door open, maybe? It just, like, it gradually fucking made me die. That didn't do anything. Yeah, I played Manhunt before. Are you allowed to stream Manhunt on Twitch? I tried using the power and nothing happened. Um, sense. Sense run map. Use. Oh wait, what's this? Numa. All right, so wait, so can I do this to every object then? Oh shit! Where did I get such power? Where did I get such power? Oh, I thought this was gonna be another title screen here. Rion! W what am I doing here? How did you get out of your restraints? What was in that shot you gave me? Rion, return to your bed now! <laughs> he sounds drunk. What was in that shot you gave me? How did I get this power? Why can I do this? Okay, and now the boy's acting is hitting the spot. Uh, Why did I do this? Uh, I, I don't know anything. I just administered the PPECs! Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? His voice of acting is reminding power enhancement chemicals. Ask Clinic Chief Lim. You know what he sounds he like? He all about it. The kids from the G.I. Joe Lim. don't give him the stick thing. Is he fucking you? Oh, is he, are you an enemy now? <laughs> oh my. <gasps> Wait, excuse me? That, by the way, it might have looked like the, uh, like there was a delay. It might have looked like there was a delay after I knocked that guy down, but that sound effect literally happened much later in the game. Like he, like the game realized he fell. I wonder what I am looking for.
Is this my data? Cool, security card. All right, so I guess I guess there isn't an inventory; it just goes into whatever I have. Rows of computers. Oh, they're just... I'm not even doing anything, it's just going crazy. <laughs> this is uh, by ASCII. But now I, I can't stop walking like this. And my HP is going down. This is how I died before and there was like no explanation. Was that just like a weak ass little punch? Oh, that was the sense thing. Needs to take Delmator or die. Are you sure you can just walk up to enemies to kill them? Oh. Well, I don't appear to have any Delmator, so. I have one. Alright, so there has to be a... Oh, wait. Oh, we're called Delmator, there we go. Alright, so yeah, it was a select button I needed to use. What up in the fade? <laughs> Gotta line it up just right. The ever play Shinobi for PS2 now. <laughs> up to <laughs> well it looks like the rabbit's out of his cage do you guys listen to j-rock return to your room and you won't get hurt Oh no, you're not dead yet, huh? What's up, Wicked Kane?
That's fucking weird. So all the sounds that are supposed to happen happen after you switch the screen. That's definitely some kind of a glitch. You know what? I'm running this on an emulator. Let me try a different emulator, because this is... If the whole game is fucked from this, that's gonna piss me off. It's not like there was a ton of progress made so far to, uh... to have this be an issue. I was using PSX rearmed. Apparently, I can't do it with that one. Yeah. All right. So I guess I gotta do do it like that, huh? Yeah, I'm restarting the game because there was this weird audio problem that I guess isn't fixed. But, fuck it. What's up with this audio issue, but... Oh god. It does travel a little <gasps> distance, too. I remember seeing the ads for this in magazines. I, didn't, I remember thinking it looked pretty cool, but... I don't know. I don't know what it was. I wasn't even sure what kind of a game it was when I used to see the ads for it. I just assumed that it kind of like it looked like an RPG or something. Oh no! My br I'm having a fucking brain blast. just a survival horror game but with like a psychic angle all right let me take my pills gotta have my pills This is Galarians, or Galarians. I, don't, I think I after I get to a save or something, maybe I'll try it uh, something else. Cause I know I can tell if the sound. I mean, try something else in terms of like emulators or something. Cause I can tell the sound issue is gonna totally fuck the game up eventually. Who die? <laughs> Turned off the auto lock. Ooh. 
I'm using uh, rearmed, and for so the game won't work with beetle. You see security security personnel lockers. Oh. Uh, blood spreading, so. Ah! I know he's dead. There's a button. You know what? I... Could just let me push the button and have to tell me there's a button that I gotta push it. Web default logic. Hybrid Heaven. That sounds really familiar. That was, um,. Was that some kind of giant robot game or some shit, or am I thinking of something else? Did it go up the slider and... A B-jacked. That was that thing that they were talking about in the, uh... Yeah, well, all the sound... The del if there's a del problem with, um, how the sound effects are being emulated, that wouldn't affect the cutscenes because everything is inside of the FMV. Or b what do I do? It's probably a one-time use thing, so I'm not gonna fuck with that, really. Oh yeah, let me take that that, that precious Delmator. Yeah, tank controls. People complain about tank controls, but for a game with fixed camera, you need tank controls because then what winds up happening is if you if you have controls where everything is in whatever direction it is, then when the camera angle changes, all of a sudden you're holding up or you're holding whatever direction, but it becomes the wrong direction. And if you retouch it, then the direction is wrong. That was an annoying thing in Final Fantasy VII, the original one. I mean, in anything with shifting camera angles, tank controls are vastly superior. Oh, oh that's bullshit. Door is locked. Special PPEC office. Oh! I'm out of Nalcon, though. A bill. Can I select? Oh! Burn him the fuck alive. Alright, so that's how this works, I guess. I can, I'm equipping whichever weapon. But also, let me heal up. Oh, thanks for some sugar plum. I didn't see that pop up before. But so, all right, so I saved this. Now, let me try. Uh... Let 
see if I can get like a different emulator or something. PlayStation. All right, Beetle and Rearm don't work in. All right, the others are PSP emulators. Later, Alex. See, it might be because I uh, I popped out of a game that that happened. Damn, I hope it's not just fucked up and that that's all there is to it. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just stuck with it like that until I, like, I'm gonna have to, like, try a whole other way to play it, but it's not really time to do that now. Beetle. Try that version of Beetle, maybe. Yeah, it's only letting me run on that PS3 arm thing. Thanks, Molecular X. What up, Torres? Alright, so I, I guess this is just gonna have to be played with some goofy ass sound issue. Where we're pretty much every time anything happens in the game, we're only gonna hear the sound effect that goes with it when we change screens. So it's just it's just gonna be the way that it is. I'm using an emulator. In case you didn't notice from the emulator screams that you were all privy to moments ago. Just the bathroom. And I can't I can't go in none of the stalls. I wonder why I'm the bathroom? Uh, take a shit. Does Jinx have any tours planned after the apocalypse? No, like how nobody, how would you plan a tour not knowing when this is even going to end? Buffer size or some shit. Maybe, maybe there's some kind of core settings or whatnot. Options. Sound interpolation. Hard GPU sync audio latency. What a better devil, better devils of all mankind.
whatever the fuck I just did ruined the game. <laughs> Am I a big fan of fixed camera angles? I mean, uh, of fixed camera angle horror games? Yeah. Definitely. I never finished the Fatal Frame games, though. Yeah, let me undo what I just did there, because that made the issue so much worse. What's up, Plid? Alright, so that was at 64 before. <laughs> I was just thinking about how that security guard just kind of collapsed from the fire. It's definitely a goofy ass collapse. All right, audio. What did I just do here? Hey, Chenzo. Alright, so whatever the fuck I just did here, I cannot seem. Alright, there we go. That fucking audio issue. Ugh. It's pissing me off because this audio issue is. It's, right now, we're just at the beginning of the game, but eventually, I'm gonna need to be able to hear what's going on around me to not die and shit. Yeah, Galarians. F. Can I go to a lower floor? It's definitely not supposed to be like this. I don't think there's any setting I can do here that'll fix it. I think it's just this is just how it's got to be. Maybe you can find a replacement. Scientists can uh oh you you are gonna come for me. I thought you were just gonna stay there doing your nerd shit. Did I talk to the black dude who gives me drugs? No. You mean wait, you mean in real life or the game? There's a thread on GameFAQ about the issue. What does this machine do? Can I sense it? Oh, this gave me a whole... Whole FMV. Is that me? Freaking out? Can I look at it again if I do that? I can. I don't want to look at it again. EPSXE, there is no issues. You know what, let me save again, and then I'll try it on E... Oh, but I'm gonna get BIOS for that. Ugh. Alright, 5607932.
Like if I do a, if I switch the as, as a different emulator, it's gonna drag the stream to a screeching halt. So I'm just gonna deal with the shitty sound issue. Maybe I should have paid attention to what that uh that number was. Later, Ben. I'm going to take a picture of this, because we're going to need it later. What could this mean? This is not a dream. Cold air behind the door. Clock tower the struggle within. Was that the PlayStation one? Because re not re I've streamed both of them a long time ago, and I remember um, the PlayStation one not holding up so great. Fuse door. Suda 51. I did have that old ass video on the Fire Pro game that he made. But I never played. He made no more heroes, right? I never played that one. Alright, it's not, the sh not shit in this bathroom. I didn't play Lollipop or AP. What's. Why did that fill back up? I did have a Wii. And. I don't know. At first, I. At first, I only had a Wii. And then, uh. I'm trying to remember now what games I even had for that. Like, there were a few. I had. Punch out for that shit. Well, that came like later on. Those are all Wii games too, right? Killer set you. I mean, uh, Killer Seven and No More Heels. Those are all on the Wii, right? It's not the door for that. Wait, is it from the room that I came out of, I guess? That would make sense. Because there's that big uh, PPEC cabinet. These hallways really do have a uh, a Dino Crisis vibe. Now that I think about it, after someone brought it up before, is that a statue of a guy? Oh, I didn't look at this before. What's on Steam? 
Wait, so that stuff wasn't there before, right? Wait, I'm looking at this. This doesn't make sense. There's two directions to go here. Oh, wait, I see what's happening here. Oh, yeah, I just, I totally got confused there. Hi, Donnie. Let me pick that paper up. Get throw that in the fucking garbage. Every time I hear the name Donnie, I think of those fucking. Oh, wow! How am I forgetting his fucking name now? The fucking Sons of Anarchy guy, Numa. Ron Perlman. I always think of Ron Perlman pissing on his fucking hand to shake Donald Trump's hand and tweeting him to taunt about it. I hate Donnie. I pissed on my hand and made you shake it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this should be the the PPEC key. What's going on, King Papa? Yeah, give me all the, the cabinet contents. Hey, I happen to be working on a PS1 style horror game with fixed camera angles right now. You're metal as fuck. Any thematic ideas? Um, I mean, you make it a horror game. You should have some horror in it. That would be a good thematic element to it. Uh, it seems like a strange question to ask. Because, I mean, if you want to make a game, shouldn't you already have an idea of, like, what you want to make? Thanks for the sub, Midnight Bomber. That just reminded me of back in the day, how I found this site. Thanks to a sub cat soup. I found this site back in the day that it was just like a list of uh, wrestlers' aim names, and I wanted to talk to the wrestlers, but I didn't know what to say to them. So I said something like, "I, I forgot who I messaged. It might have been like Steve Carino. Why the fuck is my shit all bright now?" What the fuck? I don't know why it got all like super bright out of nowhere. I'm gonna like smack the camera down now. Good thing it didn't like come off and break. But yeah, so I I, I met I. I have the list of wrestlers' aim names, and it might have been Steve Carino or somebody like that. And I didn't want to be like, oh my god, uh, blah 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 blah, this and that. We were just like, hey. And so I said, what the f I said, um. I said something like, hey man, cool career. <laughs> I don't know, even though, like, what what I thought, what thought process that was to send the aim message like that. Didn't get a response. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. Thanks for the sub, Cameo RS. Oh wait, I think this is probably a thing I could blow up.
maybe not. Maybe I can't use the liquid explosive. Oh, wait, I didn't even, like, look at this chair. This chair. I sense something from it. <laughs> what the is I, I, I'm still not sure like if these things are supposed to be me that I'm getting vi like give me this like one piece of fucking hair that's like getting all places and is annoying you are everything that's gone wrong in this world thanks for the sub insomniaki Let me take a look at this map isn't very helpful either because it doesn't tell you what direction you're oriented in i would love for this game to have a remake just so i can play a version where the sound effects work properly because it seems like a good game oh it's torback that gave this up thank you torback and thank you, Fraps, for the sub. No, I don't want to do that again. I wanna... Actually, let me... Re-equip the... F I feel like... The Flame Blast, maybe... Is, uh... I don't know, I don't wanna waste it, because it's probably more powerful. But I can't use any of these things here. Is this one of those games that has a high resale value? Because it doesn't seem like it. But you know, I mean, I never, you never know what seems like. Actually, you know what? Now I could definitely see, could see it being like that because it's one of those games that has a lot of good reviews and shit. Um, and it, it was he a lot of these kinds of games were heavily advertised, but it didn't necessarily sell a lot. This might be the thing. Why don't I use the get everybody get fucked outro anymore? Because, honestly, I just started to think that shit was kind of cringy. And it didn't really make sense when I moved from, like, rant videos to storytelling type videos. Oh, there we go. Yeah, blow shit up. Oh, that's right. I got the... I, my powers to blow shit up. But I got a brain blast here. You are everything that's gone wrong. Thanks for the sub, Rat Face Punk. Oh, I had to sense it to do that, too. Oh, it's Thorback giving them out. Thanks, Thorback. Oh, 
Oh wait, I switched between them, but for me to actually get the AP back, okay. But wait, it's not letting me use them? Oh, I see. Oh, wait a second. I get what happens. Yeah, so I I guess I probably should uh conserve my flame shit. Use the B-Jack to recharge. Oh, it's, it's, I see what happens there. So, like, now that I have the B-Jack, I can use them, but I need the little, uh, tubes. Don't, don't walk at me, motherfucker. The security code has been changed. <laughs> I think I might have an idea of what the security code might be, though. Maybe not. Oh, you've gotten closer. Slow walking security man. It is cool, too, that um, you kind of have that automatic lock on. Not lock, like the you face the direction they're coming in. Because that's one thing a lot of these games kind of struggled with. Rion, where are you going? Do you really think you can escape? Who are you? I'm Lem. Clinic chief of this facility. You are the most promising subject so far. Return to the isolation ward. Your brain will short if you continue to overdo it. You refuse to listen, eh? You leave me no choice but to terminate you. Secure the entire isolation ward and lock all security card slots. He's got an eye you patch. No That's you know he's. Now, do you? You. He's an extra evil scientist. Flashback. You know, I never played Flashback. Even though I would always see it in magazines and shit and always think that game looked fucking awesome. <laughs> Flashback or Out of This World. I didn't play either of them. There's a button. Clinic Chief Lem's image is gone. Oh no wait, that's the door I came through. <laughs> I wonder if that sound effect was a guy making a noise at me. Um as I came out the club because of how the uh how the sound issues are happening. It could have been a guard but The save rooms remind me of that one uh, narrow prison corridor from all the Resident Evil 1.5 promo images.
Resident Evil 1.5, I streamed that a long ass time ago. That wound up being a big fucking disappointment. Thanks for the sub, Farty McFartface. Or a tour back for giving it to Farty McFartface. Oh, there's all kinds of people here. Out of my way, motherfuckers. I was wondering if it would be all of them at once or one at a time. But you see, since they're lady scientists, they only take one shot to get down. See a large screen. There's a switch on the right. G Project Report. 10.01.2519 to 10.25.2522. That's the year it is, I'm assuming. G Project Team Foreign Purpose Genetic Fusion and Cloning to produce workers that can withstand the most extreme conditions. Production begins. Reach the Code 0003 Rabbit Milestone. Registered as Type R001. Mass production of R001 begins. Type 100 G101 oh, oh, Galarian transferred to uh to headquarters. Second generation type G005 Galarian produced through Sissia technology. Yeah, Sissification factory here. Transferred to headquarters, production of R001 to R08 ends. R009 production by new technology. Code yellow during mitosis work in plant 3. Section D. Work stopped at 10.52 due to pressure loss caused by a cracked pipe. Work resumed at 1900 after pipe was replaced. Decreased destruction rate, which used to be a high 53.7%, started mass production of type R016 to R026 and raised productivity 61.2% over last year. Rabbit supply going as planned, transferring five Galarians to headquarters planned. Mass production to begin shortly. Certification. What's well, kind of annoying, you you check certain things, and the I. There's items around, but the items that are around don't look like things, so you just have to check what stuff is there and hope there's an item. It looks like a fetus, but... Oh, I can't... Oh, these are big ass... It's that fucking giant baby from Twitter. This is where it comes from. Special PPOC office. Key. All right, I remember what that was. I wonder if these big ass babies are going to be enemies. Sup, Mango Kimono. Can't wait to fight that baby. PSX Bios 5501 fixed it. Hey, oh, yeah, thanks for giving out that sub to uh, Better Devils. <laughs> Tore back. Tried PC. SX Oh, oh, oh! They said shit at me. going on live when you know what maybe next next save i'll try switching up to those different bios to fix the audio issue
nothing here. Gotta find the Numa Numa key for all those doors to have the Numa thing. What's up, Pookums? <laughs> no, this ain't the place I gotta be. That'd be a crazy ass game if it was just you fighting giant babies, but they're Nazi zombie giant babies. Sounds like some kind of uh, zombies ate my neighbors add on or some shit. Whoop smidge genesis. Oh, they have guns now. Good thing they have to be right up on me for them to use their guns. Oh, oh no! Wait, so what do I do about this? The <laughs> good thing he stopped for me to take the pill. But now I have no no stuff to to hurt him with. I do have some Nalcon. This guy's a very polite guard. Thank you for your service. Okay, I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah! See, now we know because the sound effect is gone. Alright. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to try switching the, uh, the bios. Let me see what they were again. SCPH-5501. It's annoying how much more annoying it's annoying how annoying the um emulation requirements got past the uh, right, SCP how much how much like more annoying it got after simple fucking SNES and NES type emulation.
don't even know where they're saved for retro arc. See, this is what I didn't want to do because I knew me uh, fixing this was gonna drag the scream, drag the scream to like a screeching halt. But it'll be a lot better once I get this problem solved. That's actually, that background is from Doom. That's, I think it's the stuff that, like, when you get to the end Whoa! of the level. Bro, loved your Simpsons video, love the stream, keep it up, man. Thanks, Soul Fighter. Yeah, I think it's from the end of a Doom level, when it tells you all the scores and shit. Okay. All right, so that's where I got to put it.
I'll do it that way. See if it works now. My favorite thing about the Steve Aoki joke is that, like, people, like, they keep on saying it over and over again as if they were the first one to think of it. <laughs> Alright, will this do anything different? Yeah, it, 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 it appears to be doing something different. <laughs> now we're getting sound effects, but those weird fucking, uh... Those, uh, like, those, uh, see, there is, like, a weird cinematic problem. But hey, we got sound effects, hell yeah. It's like playing a completely different game now. But I totally, at this point now, I forgot completely where we're going. All right. I have the PPEC storage key, and there is like a special storage or wherever the hell to go. Well, guy with Odie. There's a mirror. Uh oh. This is okay, my cool. face? Who am I? Oh, you don't know who you are. How long have I been here? Already unlocked it. I don't know why my camera keeps getting bright and then not bright. Like, crazily bright. This isn't... This is every every stream. There's just a new problem. like the crazy brain shit all right so i might as well let it rock until like this fucker's dead yeah oh wait it doesn't affect him like it affects the other guys like crazy oh, oh i gotta press something to explode his head What 
I think next week or the week after maybe I have a stream with um some school and I'm gonna be playing a bunch of student games I, I have no idea if they're gonna be any good or not but I think I'm gonna be playing them with the people who made them and I really hope they don't fucking suck because I like I'm, I'm supposed to play them for a certain amount of time so I have no idea what what's what any of the games are gonna be like or any, anything like that but I think that's supposed to be happening uh I, yeah, it's like in the middle of next week at some point. I forgot the fucking, uh... Might be the 13th? I gotta check again. I need a haircut, like, really... Not a haircut, a fucking trim. Really badly. Because it gets to a certain length, and it, like... It winds up falling in all kinds of places that I just don't fucking like. On Twitch. See, I don't even care about hurting their feelings. I just... I care about being in an uncomfortable situation that I'm stuck in for whoever the, the fuck knows how long. See, now because that- alright, the other room was the room with the fucking the weird seat. Now because I took that little, uh, gap to fix the sound issue, I just can't fucking remember... ...where it is that I'm supposed to go now. I got that special key. Oh, okay, okay, I wasn't looking, um... I didn't realize it scrolled to the right that far. Now I remember. Yeah, I mean, there might be some awkward fucking clips to come out of that. Who knows? The special PP office. Yeah, I think it's over in this direction. This is the one, yeah. Is it not? Welcome to my world, bitch. Hell yeah, thanks for the hose, JB the Rocker. What up, Obsidian Zero? Oh, your health drains from... I don't know what caused... Oh, she got a taser! Get away from me! I don't know what I'm... Oh, this shit. This is the shit that drains my brain. Thanks for the sub -degenous. De Dejanus. The brain blast. Like, this will drain my health, but it'll also fuck their shit up. So you can kind of let it rock for a bit. But then it's like, alright, I use my Delmador. I got no more health pills. I don't know if there's anything else to do to keep the, the health drain from happening. And there's a bunch of items. The, the problem is, yeah, like, see, alright, so there's Nalcon on this desk, but you can't see it. It's just I had to think to check that desk. So none of the items that are around, you, you need them, but you can't see them. You can only assume where they might be and press X.
Let's do it. Thanks, Dejanus. Yeah, wall humping, I guess, would be helpful. Although, for the most part, it seems like the items... Okay. So, this is what I took the picture of before. Good thing I did it, because there's no way I'm fucking remembering that number. Nine, six. Oh. Seven. Nine, three, two. Nalcon is the pill that keeps the brain blast from killing me altogether. See some red, get it. What I need is some HP pills. Wait, so I think now I'm gonna need this for... No, no, not that door. Oh, the freezer room key. Oh, that, see, that was right there, I didn't know about it. The Laparka tea came from a hard way. But I don't know if they have any more of those, because they kind of do limited run type stuff. Let me just check that I don't have any more HP stuff. Yeah. That is the sticky keys noise, right? Oh, recovery capsule, there we go. On that pile of shit that... I didn't look at before. This game does this annoying thing where if you have a, a line of text like that, it doesn't... Pressing X doesn't make it go away, it just goes away on its own, but it feels like you need to press X. So, which makes you wind up reading it again. Oh yeah, the Twitter shirt. That's from that Twitter account, um, Insane Letterbox Reviews. Which is fucking awesome. I love that account. Thanks, 44K Panda. Now, Resident Evil 3 getting marked down in a review because it had a twinkle on items to show you where they were. This game would benefit so much from having that twinkle on items. Because stuff isn't apparent of what it is. And in the case of this game, it's, the items don't even appear in the world. It could be an emulation error, I don't know. I just switched the bios to fix the sound issue.
Honestly, to me, the backgrounds kind of feel low quality for the PlayStation. I don't know. Maybe it's just I haven't played it in so long. I haven't played any PlayStation 1 games in so long that my uh, expectations kind of got skewed. Oh! Uh. But they're also, everything is all, uh, gray and shit. So it's kind of... Flat and samey. Not that much unlike Dino Crisis, though, which... Dino Crisis definitely needs to get its own remake. Should be getting one before Resident Evil 4, to be honest. There are certain parts of RE3 that really made me think, damn, there should just be a uh, dino crisis. Rian, where are you? Please help me, hurry! Who it sounded like she you? said Leon. And why do I hear your voice in my mind? Rian, where are you? Because a Japanese game, maybe he was supposed to be called Leon. But it's all oh, Leon. Let me get all of these items that I can't see. See some skip? What's skip? I had a thing before it told me what skip is. Skip. So skip I get- let me read the staff notes before I waste it. Apollinar. Skip. Tablet for stabilizing and increasing mental energy. It lightens the tremendous mental load required to employ an ability and enables a temporary increase in the mental limiter level. For poor leaves capsule. So basically it makes my shit stronger. Which I guess would make sense for me to save for a boss fight or something. Helmet face. Ah, uh, it was it wouldn't automatically lock on, huh? I mean, I guess the trick is to run around them. Fantastic combat in this game. Still alive. Uh. Uh. There we go. That's a deaf scream if I ever heard one. to get the back of my skull bashed in as soon as I uh, open it back up. But until then, let's, 
Let me inject myself. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, this combat is so awkward. It seems like every single surface in this game just happens to have an item on it. Which is good because, I mean, you clearly just blow right through this shit. Oh, boss fight. Okay. I guess this right here is the time for me to use the, uh... I assume this is the time then for me to use that skip. I played, um... Oh, he, he backs up and I think there's more room, but well, then there's not. And he has a gun, okay. Now you're dead. What up, the heed? Holy shit, it totally does look like a Boston dynamic spot. Exactly. I am playing on an emulator. Um, I don't I don't remember. It's weird to me that people kind of show up and when you're playing like a retro game ask if you're playing on an emulator uh, because it's like to me like that seems like such a weird thing to care about ah! hell yeah blow his fucking skull up Man, if they remade this, you could do such a satisfying fucking head explosion.
This feels like a boss fight kind of thing, but I just had a boss fight. Let's go on Dark Flame Master. Oh, I just realized I can do a weird walk in this game. Like the fucking gallop. Normally in a game like this, I'll discover my gallops and insane walks early on, but... This one took a moment. I guess because I was so focused on fixing the others. Alright, old lamps. Alright, so I gotta get this in a certain order. Blue. Yeah, the game is called Galarians. I'm thinking my approach to this might not be the right approach. Oh, maybe it was. It was just the last fucking combination. Rion Steiner. Was this that period of time when all Japanese media seemed to be obsessed with German shit? And we got this guy, his name's Steiner. Lear, Dr. Pascal. Dr. Steiner. Dr. Pascal. With his big bulbous fucking head. Pictures of your pants. I remember we were in that phase, then Capcom puts out, not Capcom, Square, puts out a bunch of games that just have German-sounding names. You got, what was it, Einhander and Urgeis came out together. Guys was dope. There's actually, um... Actually, shit. Yes, it was. In my... Oh, is this another boss battle, or is this a friendly guy? You're not friendly. Oh, you're a kind of enemy. You're not a boss. Oh, there's a third one. Fuck. Oh, now I can hit multiple enemies. It is time. I gotta switch. They're like monkey like guys, and they totally gave this is like monkey music. 
They got the little hoots in there. And the monkey music stopped and the last one died. The new master of creation. Test lab. Some ordinary gamers. What's going on, dog? This is Galarian's. This weird anime-looking survival horror game where I have psychic powers that I can't seem to control normally. And sometimes, for reasons I don't understand, I get this weird skull thing going on. That drains my HP, but also allows me to one-shot guys by blowing their fucking heads up. Oh shit, that reminds me. Somebody was in here just asking about the Fudahar drawings before. Get up! Don't let him get away! <laughs> I'm so glad I fixed that sound problem just to hear. Get him! Don't let him get away! Ah, need more. Chief's room. There's a bunch of buttons here, though. I'm just opening everything up, huh? Awesome, ninety six hundred. All right, what are the other keys I have here? Liquid explosive G project, freezer room. <laughs> I one hundred percent read photo of parents as photo of penis. <laughs> photo of penis. <laughs> like this character is like just carrying around a printed out photo of a dick. Yeah, freezer room, and uh, that's the one I haven't used yet. Imagine he's just walking around with like a printed out. Oh, oh, oh! No! Let's not. I'm, yeah, I'm not even gonna engage you guys right now. Oh, I see that. They'll release them. Yeah, these guys are gonna be too much for me to handle individually. So they're wearing these suits. A box of wine? Yeah, just carrying around the picture of a dick in his wallet in the way that you have these, uh, these people that have, like, pictures of their children they show you at work. This guy's just like, yeah, I got a, a fucking dick in my wallet. Uh, I want to go up the stairs. This is just literally a prequel to Boss the Dynamics being real. Are you a monkey guy? Oh, here we go, Brain Blast!
Can I brain blast you guys? Yes, I can. It's when your AP drains, that's when you get the brain blast. What Raven of Zoso? I don't, I mean, back in the day, I remember this specifically having magazine ads, but it definitely wasn't a big hit game. Research lab key. See, the keys are appearing on surfaces. It's just all the healing items and shit don't appear on surfaces. What's going on, deep cold water? Turned it on. Well, what, what is it? 1013. A new youth named Rian, Rian was brought in. The drug was administered to him on the orders of Dr. Lem, clinic chief. Signs of supernatural power appear. Drug looks promising. Dr. Lem orders drug dosage to be increased by ten times. This is the first time he has done this. I wonder why he's in such a hurry. Rian has fallen unconscious. It must be due to the overdose. Rian miraculously regained consciousness, but lost his memory. He only remembers his name with some difficulty. Rian. Speaking of Dreamcast, I actually- I also have, uh, Illbleed. Which... is another survival horror game from that time period. That I just never had a chance to play, and... The thing is... I remember very specifically really wanting to play that game back then. And recently when I was like looking it up, I thought it was because it was supposedly a really good game that I never had the chance to play. But then I'm looking at the Hardcore Gaming 101 thing, and now I'm starting to think that the reason I wanted to play the game so much back then was because your character like gradually loses her clothes until she's like literally just wearing like a piece of booby fabric. But supposedly it's a good game, too, so... Evil Dead Hail to the King Dreamcast for 10 minutes. Is that bad? How bad could it possibly be? <laughs> Is this the one I need to get to? No, I've already been in here. Stream ended on your side, I had to refresh. I've had that happen on streams before, I don't know what causes it. Research lab. Let's go in there and do some do some little research. Do some a little research. Man, this really would be dope to be able to do just in general. Just like run around. It's just like Make shit fucking you burn telepathically? What? We're just collecting all the fucking liquor boxes now? That was such a Joe Rogan thing to say. It's just like gushing over how nice it would be to be able to burn things telepathically. Whoa. 
I started to watch that Elon Musk episode of Rogan too, and all I could think about it, and it's definitely one of those things where like Elon is just kind of like you can tell he's just in real life probably just like a very like quiet, awkward dude. But because of that, the whole conversation they're having, it feels like when you're at a party or you're at a bar or something and you wind up in in a conversation with a drunk guy that you don't want to be in, and the whole podcast feels like Elon Musk is trying to get out of that conversation. But he can't because he's stuck there. I'm the worst in those situations too. Like once that the guy that is like that attaches themselves to me, I can't get out of the conversation. Like that. This is this is my next hour or two when that guy corners me. He did start talking about monkeys at some point, too. I forgot what the context was. But there's definitely an, um, another monkey part of the Elon Musk podcast. And Joe gets mad fucking hyped as soon as that happens. Like, he gets. Joe Rogan gets his second wind when the fucking monkey talk happens. Oh, what was great on Twitter was uh, Grimes Test Lab. Grime, Grimes talking about why they named the kid what they did, and one of the a part of it was she, the kid is named after like it was like all in different sections of what the fucking name was. But what I remembered was. Named after our favorite, uh, our favorite aircraft, the SR-17. And Elon Musk corrects her, saying SR-71, and people are like, oh my god. I can't believe he mans mansplained that to her when she just had their child. And it's like, alright. First off, like, what's really funny about that to me was... That he had to correct her on that tells me that she fucking lied about having a favorite aircraft. Which makes sense, because who the fuck has a favorite fucking aircraft? Except maybe a professional aviator of some kind. Like, that's like, that's such a pretentious artsy celebrity thing. To, to have a favorite aircraft. Fuck out of here. You name your child after your favorite aircraft. Snake. The snake and the eagle are. Right, so I, I guess. That that's, this is what these boxes I've been collecting are for. With the two headed animals on them. Two headed wolf. Two headed monkey. What of it? Oh, there's a th thing that contains them somewhere out here, huh? What up, crazy bus? Joe Rogan's gonna play this whole fucking game just to get to the part where there's a two-headed monkey drawn on the wall. Like, Joe, listen, there's a monkey with two heads in this game. You gotta play it. It'd be funny if it turned out that Joe Rogan had, like, very, very mild autism, and, and it turned out that genuinely monkeys were one of his special interests. It wouldn't surprise me. But he's too, like, he's too much of, like, a... I, I guess if it was, like, very mild. Like, like, the whatever, like, the, the very tippy end of the spectrum would be. Two 
too many. There are many chairs. The test lab key. Oh, that was in the uh, the robot room. See, something that was kind of confusing about this and the scientists coming at me, the first time you encounter a scientist coming at you, it seems like your psychic field is fucking with their brains, which is making them come at you. Which would make sense because it... You'd have to be nuts to be a scientist going after a guy that you know has such powers. Kid's name is pronounced something like X Ash. I, I forgot it was like X Ash seventeen, whatever the fuck. Whatever, just because it had that A E symbol in there, it made me think of this joke that people used to tell when I was in elementary school. I forgot who said it to me first, but I don't know if this was a widespread elementary school joke or if it was just one that was said in mine. Where every, it had to be a, like one of those jokes that just got everywhere. Where people would be like, what's Helen Keller's dog's name? <laughs> but that's how I... As soon as I saw that kid's name, that's the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> Ugh. That, that Helen Keller thing, it had to be, uh... It had to be just a widespread joke. There's no way that someone at my school independently thought of that. I just got around only in this little enclave of elementary school students. Helen Keller actually actually with I didn't realize Helen Keller has there's videos of her on YouTube. I didn't realize she was alive that recently. Dr. Lim 2520. Cuz I had this one night like someone had floated the idea that Helen Keller was a hoax and I was like that makes sense cuz like I can't figure out like how a person who would be deaf and blind like be able to figure all that shit out. But then they had her on the thing with um her I, I almost called it her tra her trainer, but it was I forgot what like the relationship was, but then it's like it was a system where she could figure out the sounds from feeling the woman's mouth. And I was like, oh, okay, like it, it made it made me stop being a Helen Keller Keller truther. Not interpreter, it was like a nanny kind of situation where she grew up with it and then she got like a different person, but it was, uh... She, I think she had two different teachers, but regardless, there are videos of her on YouTube. The program that I have dreamed of has finally begun. If it succeeds, nothing can stand in the way of our goal. We'll change the course of human history. No. It is, in fact, the end of humankind. She'll become the new god. We're gonna become a living god. Like E.A. Coetting. Actually, she has even surprised me with her rapid growth. It's incredible, and the way beyond, and way beyond expectations. No one can stop her now. All bow down before her. I cannot begin to express the joy I feel at being present at such a historic moment. The 
world's fate lies in these hands. Now we can head into a new age with the new headmaster of creation. Speaking of EA co-editing, if you guys don't remember, like EA co-editing was the um the witchcraft guy that H3 made fun of back in the day. And like the become a living god guy. And he like he's who's still active on YouTube. And then I was watching that Shudder series, um Haunted Films or something. I think it's called like haunt not cursed films, that's it. And there's one episode. Where they bring, they're like, we're gonna bring in a witchcraft expert, a uh, witchcraft expert. They have brought a few of them, but one of them was that fucking guy EA coeding, and they have him like in a forest, burning things to do magic and shit. I forgot. I think it was the second episode, which was um, the Omen. I think it was the Omen that you will see a cameo by the one and only EA coeding. Set the map system in this game would be so confusing. So I'm not. I'm just going places. I'm not sure where I'm going. Rayon. Uh -oh. Rayon. Ah, that voice again. Lilia? Is it Lilia? They're coming to get me. Lilia, where are you? Help me, Rayon. Please hurry. Later 44k Panda. Hey, it's that same statue lady. Nothing here. See, the other issue is a lot of these rooms look kind of samey. Armored core. I remember, I never had armored core, but I had a demo of armored core that I played the fuck out of. That? Oh, here we go, brain blast. Got a blast. Anybody else in here before I fix my shit? No? Guess not. Some kind of futuristic guillotine? Something about these PS1 games that helps make them feel a little extra creepy is... How stuff kind of like doesn't look like anything a lot of the time. So your brain kind of has to fill in the blanks. Like, I feel like the first Silent Hill 
benefited greatly from that. It probably wouldn't have been anywhere near as creepy if everything like looked like totally coherent. But I would still love to see a Silent Hill 1 uh, remake. Those games would benefit so much more even from a remake than any of the new, than, any, uh, than Resident Evil 4 or anything like that. anything I need in this room. No. Silent Hill 4 was awesome, too. A lot of people don't like that one. And it clearly, it wasn't... It wasn't originally intended to be a Silent Hill game. They kind of... They were like, well, this is kind of similar to Silent Hill. Oh, test lab. I have to that. Oh, no. Don't shoot me in the back. Oh, no. Doing keys. Wait, Shattered Memories is a Silent Hill one remake? Tase me, bro. I thought Shattered Memories was just kind of like revisiting certain elements of the game. Alright, well now I have all four of the animals. It's a loose remake of the first game. Hey, it's that crazy face boy, who I believe is to be me. Monkey room we're going back into. Oh, no, it's not. It was close, though. Peace out, better devils of all mankind. Do I or will I ever go over creepy pastas? Probably not. In general, I find creepy pastas to be kind of corny. Snake, eagle, wolf, monkey. I have all such things here. Can't use them. Is 
so yeah, I'm assuming I need to put them in here, oh, like where the stuff I'm seeing is. service machine. I don't know, like I heard I never played Soul Reaver and I heard it was good. But I really did not enjoy the first Legacy of Kane. I know it's a totally different game. But... Mm. What's going on, Radio Chicken? Nocturnal Princess. Good day, I found your YouTube channel a few months ago and I absolutely adore what you do. And my personal favorite is the most mysterious song. I have been trying to look into it myself since I heard it. Cheers to sweet and hell yeah. I haven't gotten many good updates on any of, any of those kinds of stories. I might do an update on the, um, the Saki-san Obashi one, just as, like, there's not any substantial updates, but there, was, there were a few more leads and a person who, like, claims to be the original poster saying it's fake. Which, something similar happened with the farm game, too. I'm not finding the place that I need to put those fucking squares. How do I feel about those UFO videos? The thing is, like, those UFO videos were the same UFO videos that Travis Barker had... Not Travis Barker, fucking Tom DeLonge had a while back. And when he came around with them, they were already old videos. So now the government is saying that those ones are there those old those videos that were old are real videos. So people hear UFO and they think that means like little green aliens in a alien spaceship. When really all the UFO means is they don't know what the fuck it is. It's it's in the name, Unidentified Flying Object. So that could be, that could be like some redneck in his backyard made some shit. Could be aliens. It could be, uh... It could be a foreign country spying on us. Or it could be a US agency making something that they don't have, that another agency sees. And... Doesn't, uh have clearance to know about. Someone posted an edited version where it was the Mario head from Mario teaches typing flying around. How I played Eternal Darkness. Yeah, a long time ago. Never finished it, though. Whoa. 
what are my favorite guilty pleasure games? I don't have... I don't have guilty pleasure games because, like, why would I be ashamed of a game I play? Oh no, I, play, I played a game. I'm not gonna look... I'm not gonna look cool for the people who don't like that game. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god. Yeah, Raid Shadow Legends. What's funny is, like, people don't believe I actually play that shit. And the thing about Raid Shadow Legends, it's not... People see it, you can kind of, like, auto-play through the battles. There's, like, oh, the game can play itself. And Which, first of all, I think that was a feature that you could do in Final Fantasy games. But it's more a game of building up your party for different scenarios. Faction Wars, where you need to have a balanced party of different races that are in the game. Or the dungeons, where it's kind of like certain lo certain groups of characters aren't going to be able to do it. Um, Kingdom Hearts. I did like Kingdom Hearts. I, I Kingdom Hearts was a game that I rented back in the day, and I never finished it. Oh, wait, freezer key, right. It's funny how, like, mad people get to when you do a Raid Shadow Legends promo now. Like, people act like... Like, that the game is, like, human trafficking or some shit. Uh, oh, I don't want to skip the cinematic. I, I don't know what's in there. But it looked like some kind of weird bones. Oh, I think it's like Thanks for the sub, Spoopy Man. It's weird to me, too, that people consider taking sponsors selling out. Unless, like, you know, the sponsors are telling you, uh, oh, you can't make this and that kind of content. That, that would be selling out. What's more selling out than taking a sponsor is, like, bleeping out curses and shit like that because you don't want to get demonetized. That's, like, a lot more in that direction. Not that I really give a shit if anybody does that, but like that to me, like when you when you start compromising the actual contents to do it. Which is also funny because like going back through um when people at oh my medicine pouch is full, that happens. Recover what I can recover. Because I don't think I'm going to come back to this room. Or actually, shit, I should have taken the Nalka. But yeah, like, there's people who think that I got rid of the uh, everybody get fucked outro because I'm worried about demonetization, which makes absolutely no sense. Because it's... It, I'll have a video that'll be, like, full of curses and not have that, uh... that outro, so I'm like, well, if I'm first off, 
they only even consider not only even consider but it mostly it's mostly the beginning of the video that matters with demonetization like the first 30 seconds of the video they, they explicitly said the first 30 seconds of the video is what they look at for certain things uh -oh. I, mean, I guess I'll take this I'll use the Nalco too um, but yes, yeah, the first 30 seconds that matters for, at least when it comes to language. But then it's like, I'll do videos on like, cum boxes and Marilyn Manson sucking his own dick. And people think the outro, it's like, I would change the outro for that reason. Not just because I think ha catchphrases and shit are fucking cringy. And it, they don't even necessarily make sense in context. Yeah, when it comes to following tags, thanks for the sub Nocturnal Princess. Following tags on Instagram, there's a thing that happens where if you like a bunch of pictures and they have the same um, hashtag in common, It'll, uh, give you the suggestion to, uh, follow the hashtag. So, yeah, there we go. So, I'll just follow the hashtag. Oh, is it gifted sub? Oh, Torbax, still giving out those subs, huh? Thank you. Jitter on Twitcher. I should be dropping a new episode. Um, I would get I, honestly probably in like two weeks, because I have a couple of uh, videos I'm working on, but I don't think it'll be anything ready for next week. Another one of these. Oh, wait, this was the other side of that same fucking room from before. What did they do to me here? What's interesting, too, about um, the. Uh, The, the, what you call it, the demonetization. I haven't had a video demonetized for a while. Um, but then the Manson video was demonetized, and it's still, it's so clear. When you get a video demonetized, that they just, like, turn the fucking views off. That video was doing really well, then it gets hit with the demonetization, and it fucking plummets all of a sudden. Yeah, and it's tank controls. Which, I don't know, like, I was saying this before, too, I don't get why people hate tank controls so much, especially for a game like this, where the camera angle is changing directions. Because tank controls are so much better for that kind of a game. Like, imagine if this, if this game, being the way it is, if... On this screen, say, I, it was like, I'm going up, I press up, I'm going left, I press left, or right, or back. So then, say, hypothetically, it wasn't tank controls, then all of a sudden, in this screen, from that screen, down becomes up, and up becomes down. As opposed to it being a consistent directional thing. Which happened a lot in Final Fantasy, the original Final Fantasy VII, and would, in some situations, cause you to have to mistake cause you to mistakenly go between between one screen to the next what's up loud stomper all right 
so now I'm confused because I think I pretty much went around the entire map that's available now. But I didn't see where to put those fucking snake... The, the fucking animal boxes. This is Galarian's. As indicated by the loading screen that we're going to be seeing over and over again. It's Jack Wiggles, they don't necessarily hide it, but they definitely show it to a lot fewer people. Last thing I remember about Game Grumps was Aaron going on like a big uh having a good cry about new new grounds animators. I think it was like specifically bitching about Nani, who seems to be the guy that if like someone has a gripe with edgy cartoons, he's the guy the go-to guy for people to bitch about. Oh yeah, that's right, it was Pello that, that like, caused that last bitch fest. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world! Thanks for the sub, Gene. Who am I? second I do see that room back there that I didn't go to Thanks for uh, gifting that to our back. Yeah, let me get to the other side of the goddess statue. I just had a, a big brain fart on where everything's laid out in this map. What's up, Elgato?
Must know who John Draper. I know who Don Draper is. I don't know John Draper. Damn, it's crazy. Uh, Fortnite's been around long enough that people could be nostalgic for old Fortnite. Have I ever played the Evil Within? You got it. And it's dog shit so far. I, I have it. I enjoyed it somewhat, but then you get certain parts where, you know, you get all those uh, unavoidable kills and shit, and it starts to get a little tedious. Not unavoidable kills, but like kills that you have to expect to avoid. Like you have to know they're coming, and then you die, and then. After you die, then you get to play the game. And, uh... You die and you get to play through them again. Might as well save now. I'm trying to remember where the fuck I'm going to though when I... Hell yeah, Jim. Uh, Nepo, this is Galarian's... It's a PlayStation 1 survival horror game that... It's like you're this guy and he's got crazy psychic shit going on and you blow people's heads up with his brain and shit. But we don't quite know the nature of anything that's going on. Just the Oh, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Fuck. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. Thanks for the sub, Nepo. Or Torback for gifting it. I imagine it's going to have to be in a certain order. I wonder what this does. How much does this fellow weigh? <laughs> Fuck, what, what was that guy's name? The, uh... The one king in the ring guy. He was a guest announcer from some other sport. And... I guess he doesn't really know much about wrestling the way he's doing the guest commentary. So every guy comes out and he's like, How much does this fellow weigh? Oh, 
What a big guy. How much does this guy weigh? What does he weigh? <laughs> Art Donovan, that was it. Right. Well, a picture of an eagle. Okay. Yes, two headed eagle. What does this tell me, though? Oh, how much does this fellow weigh? <laughs> I did play Forbidden Siren, although it was mostly, uh, mo I mostly watched my friend play Siren, and I, I jumped on a few levels, because I didn't have it, my friend had it. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world! Thanks for the sub, Darth Marek. Jump off the fucking balcony. I think maybe if I go in the room that has to go back to go back into the Joe Rogan room, it'll show me what I need to do. Touch me. Thanks, WQuiz.com. This is the Joe Rogan room either. What's going on, Luis Di Vasca? Oh, this was the room I was trying to look at before. Lock for- oh, you can't open it. Fire in the Sky was a freaky fucking movie, and for some reason, I, when I was younger, I was in the hospital a lot with asthma, and every single fucking time I was in the hospital, ABC7 would be playing two movies, Fire in the Sky and Milo and Otis. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, here, we're back in the Joe Rogan room. I'm thinking maybe it might be as simple as that they're in this order. Snake, eagle, wolf, monkey. That, that is a wolf, apparently. It, it looks like a camel. Snake, eagle, wolf, monkey. It'll, it, honestly, it'll be kind of annoying if it's, it's just like how to put them in this order because because there's no reason why in a room the shape that it would have to be in this order. It's just the order he happens to look at him. Snake, eagle, wolf, monkey. It would make more sense if they happen to be lined up in some kind of uh, square configuration. Damn, I can go for a good alien movie. <laughs> I feel like that hasn't been a kind of thing you see in movies for a long time. Just those basic gray aliens. I think it's probably at a certain point it started to feel like kind of like a hack thing. So they stopped using it. But then it's like you had this period where everything was zombies. Um, I, I, I guess maybe zombies were the only thing that I, Oh! Why are you here now? Cause... Oh. Get what you fucking deserve. I guess this means I'm supposed to be here now. Snake, eagle, wolf, monkey. What's up, Al? It's gonna be so weird if it's just that I have to have them in this order. So like I said, it's totally arbitrary that I just happened to look at them that way. And it- they had to be in that specific order. That was such a goofy, stupid puzzle. Because what sense does it really make that you go into a room that's square 
and you just happen to look at the order in those directions and name them out. And then you have these things that are in a straight line. They have to be in the order that you happen... I, I mean, maybe... I guess the way you could explain that in game is that your character is psychic and they know your character is psychic so they set it up to know that he was going to look at it in that order. This game is Galarian's. I know you're coming from well. Well, I can't see you. Thanks for the host, Rat Man. Oh, he's following. Oh no, he's not following me. Time to die is now, robot. Oh no, you're not done, huh? Oh, let me get to a place where I can see what's going on here. was killed. I keep on forgetting the name of that company that makes the robots that look like that. And you're smacking the boxes out of its hand. Yo, actually, actually these robots are type thick. Look at that uh, thigh meat. What kind of equipment is this? It's the kind that I touch. And, oh, I guess not the kind that I touch. Boston Dynamics. With their tight, thick robots' asses clapping. Yeah, give me that skip. Thick robots. So I went around and nothing really seemed to happen. Oh. See, there's an issue with this game too. A lot of the like hallways and shit just kind of have a samey look. So you're like, wait, am I was I over here already? Boston dummy thick. R I O N. Rion. The family program is top secret. Please give the password. Oh, Rion. The family program is top secret. Access forbidden without password. What, yo, why is this password system getting mad? Dino. Sex. Male. Age. Six 
least you're a natural Rion, just as I expected. Oh, shit. I can't believe how much you've progressed in only a month. Father? Who am I? And what is the family program? Rion, there are many things you are better off not knowing. This is Nalcon. You'll short circuit if I inject you with it. You don't want to die, do you? Return to the isolation ward. No. Michelangelo, uh, Rion, such strength. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's short circuit. Oh, I thought it was so gonna short circuit himself. It. It's the freeze chamber for you. What, are you gonna smack me with the stick? He chases me and swings his cane and misses is like <coughs> real cartoon shit. <laughs> like it looks like I stole he's mad in a way that like I stole a pie off his windowsill or something. Uh, if he's not gonna run after me, oh he's gonna run. Oh he got me. It's time to burn you, motherfucker. You're gonna rue the day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dead. Oh, he's a machine. I bet I have to wear him down with the nail gun and then and then get him weak enough to flame. Or I take the skip. I get super powered. If it's not working on him, maybe there's something I need to do in here. Can I use the computer? Oh wait, I bet I can like just stand behind that stuff and be safe. Well, not when he's right there. Can't just leave either. <laughs> oh, he saw this coming, I guess. Brain blast affect him? But no. I'm 
thinking not. Damn, I'm out of health stuff too. Maybe I could push the black sphere onto him? Actually, you know what? Can I go into these other rooms before setting that shit off? This elevator might lead outside. I wonder how it works. Yeah, Alright, so I gotta do this encounter. So I wonder if I could have started off and just burn him alive from the start. same damage anyway but I guess that means that those uh because I'm just getting fumes when I do the attack on the robot like that it also means that the pushes aren't doing anything either here now. Uh. What if I, can I stack the skips is a good question. I can. See, I figured, because it had, like, level 2, level 3, I figured you'd be able to. <laughs> or the elevator, maybe he can break the elevator, but that could be a thing. seem like it's damage reduced. Well, he stars doing it after you do a certain amount of damage.
Thanks, Dr. Cinnamon. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was just a matter of doing that amount of damage. Grand Peels. <laughs> You're psychic, you can't sleep on the elevator. <laughs> yes, this is some serious fucking... I escaped from Michelangelo Memorial Hospital. Catherine Knowing Gibbs. nothing but my name. CG over here. I had found a picture of my family at the hospital. Just when their faces started looking familiar, the memories slipped away, as if I had never known them. What was I doing there? My mind was all cloudy, and I couldn't remember a thing. I was all alone. Hell yeah. Stage B, your house. Not stage two, stage B. I'm gonna go inside right away. go around the house oh you know what I because of the fact that it's letting me back here I bet I can't even go through the front door tire tracks lead into the pond well, let's try it You know what? Remember that joke? It was like, your mom was so fat, when she goes around the house, she goes around the house. I always felt like I didn't understand that joke properly. Like, is was the joke that she's bigger than the house? So she's just like so fat that like her presence is just like enveloping the fucking house? Was that the joke? What's up, Zim? Or was it was it something else? Cause that's what the joke is—that she's just like that fat that she uh, she uh just like in in engulfs the house. That's, that's just it. She is so fat that she's just that fucking big. That she's bigger than the house. That's a shitty fucking joke. And everyone acted like that. That was the the, the peak of your mama jokes. That she just goes around the house because she's that fat. That she goes... That she literally is just like on the fucking house. Fucking stupid. Well, again, that's kind of that period in time when people thought a fucking scary movies movies were fucking hilarious. It's like, I feel like it's like that type of humor. 
Thank you, Torback, for the sub to me, just medallion. What's going on, Mr. Bad Aim? The pond is very murky. There's something weirdly nostalgic about how water looks in these games. Because you can tell it's supposed to be water, but it's just a solid that's not moving around or anything. Capsule inside of the garage, so I can't really see. Oh, here we go. There's nothing useful here. It's a fucking car. I'm kind of afraid to go back and watch in living color. Can I... They head into the pond. Well, I can't go into the pond. Because I remember finding in Living Color really funny back in the day, but I feel like if I looked at it now, I would hate it. It kind of makes me think of Zombie Land too. Because I used to watch Zombie Land all the time at work. And I thought that movie was awesome. But then I saw the trailer. House continues into another wing. I saw the trailer for Zombie Land 2. I didn't watch Zombie Land 2, but I saw the trailer for it. And I remember seeing that trailer and thinking it was the corniest fucking thing I ever saw. But then I'm not sure if it's because 2 is just significantly lamer than the original or if it's the same kind of humor and my taste just changed I wouldn't like it anymore I need a dark flame master I don't even remember what happened in the Zombie Land 2 movie trailer, but I think I remember it having those kinds of lame movie jokes that are like, oh, well that just happened. Something crazy happens. Oh, well that just happened. That for the fucking Marvel movie joke. So, uh, that just happened. I just fucking hate everything now. Like nothing, nothing, nothing's enjoyable anymore. Everything just ha it sucks because uh, that's the that's the joke you have in a movie now. Oh, so that just happened. Uh, yeah, no. Well, I mean that not that one was a new one. That's like a a fucking that shit got that shit got played out in the nineties. Oh, yeah, no. Enjoying things is cringe. Imagine unironically liking something. <laughs> I wish that game someone had made that, uh, this Alex Jones Sega CD fake game. I think it was with, um... It looked like it was based on an Aliens game or something. But they had just taken one of his rants and put it at, made it as a Sega CD game. That was fucking awesome. 
I would absolutely play an Alex Jones game. There's got to be something really obvious here that I'm... Oh, there we go. Open up the car and find the key inside of it. Back door key. You see, I, I pressed around on the car, but I guess I didn't press around it in just the right spot. So, so uh, that just happened. Rucker, that was something actually... Oh, we got the monkey guys in here. Did they got the monkey music again? Alright, this looks pretty creepy. More creepy than the lab. Now we got a real horror environment. But yeah, someone uh, commented on the, on the Simpsons video. They were like, wow, you have a raid sponsorship and the video is just over 10 minutes? Uh, yikes. And it's like, first off, like, the video is like 10 minutes and 25 seconds. Is that really count as just over 10 minutes? I could understand saying that if it was like 10 minutes and 1 second or something. But at that point, it's just like the whole, the whole 10th minute is off limits. If you're going to have a video that's over 10 minutes, it's got to be at least 11 minutes or it's, a, or it's a, yikes. Not a good look. 10 minutes and 25 seconds, not a good look. Do better. A lot of bathrooms in this game. No one- This is your own fucking house, kid. No one lives here anymore? You tell me. Oh wait, I forgot he has amnesia, so he doesn't know. <laughs> I wonder if there's a different save thing in the house, or if it's those weird terminals again. Ah! Oh no. It's because I pressed the target button. Hell yeah, Malformed Malice. No. Yeah, that's what's happening to you. Uh, no enemies for me to uh, brain blast in here. Yeah, I really love the brain blast kills. That's the coolest shit in the game, kill wise. I see there's a painting puzzle here. Delmator sounds like a real medicine too. That you're gonna see advertised on daytime TV. You're watching the prices right, then all of a sudden an ad for Delmator comes on. Side effects may include your fucking dick not working. So get some blue chew as well. See, I also, like, one kind of sponsor I will turn down is any kind of pharmaceutical shit. Um, like, I had, uh... I had a bunch of, like, hair loss things contact me. Uh, natural testosterone boosters. Which, I definitely, like... Like, not promoting natural testosterone boosters that are over-the-counter. Because that shit definitely don't fucking work. Oh, you fell through the ceiling. Like, if that shit worked, you wouldn't be able to get it over the counter. But that's like, that's what I'm getting at Midnight Bomber. If I were to be able to get like a Blue Chew ad 
that's funny enough to me that I'd just be like, hell yeah. But I don't... People have gotten in trouble with that on YouTube. Like, I think No Jumper had a problem with Blue Chew ads, and I think Drunken Peasants did. These fucking Chaycon guys. There was some other supplement that- Oh, it was, um... There was a nicotine patch that contacted me very early on. And I was like, nah, I don't wanna... I'm iffy about that. For a while, I was getting um, a ton of, not sponsored things, but just through AdSense, getting a ton of, like, psychics and shit advertised on people. Actually, that fucking reminds me, I still need to make my fucking Miss Cleo video. The door now is missing. Can't open the door. Oh, there's liquor in there. We gotta get in there. Hell yeah. Thanks for the cheers. What up, what up, YouTube? Alright, that's the front door over there, too. Drunken... Honestly, I never listened to Drunken Peasants back in the day, like, in the TJ days. I might have listened to one episode. I think it was, I listened to maybe, like, part of the Milo Yiannopoulos episode out of curiosity. Because it was the drunken peasants that began his downfall. It was, like, a combination of stuff he said on drunken peasants and stuff he said on Rogan. That, like, was, like, the whole, like, controversy that ended him. Um. But after that, I only know drunken peasants from the Ben and Billy the Fridge days. And this, uh, like, as it seems to me, I don't know if this is true or not, that it's probably, like, more of, like, a comedy-focused show now than it used to be. Because it always struck me, even though I, like, wasn't watching it back in the day, it struck me as more of a political show back then. Another bathroom. How, ma how much do people need to shit? Something's at the bottom of the thing. You better reach for it. Come on. Any other survival horror protagonist would just reach the fuck in. Oh, yeah, Midnight Bomber. The, uh, the I... The IBS. Oh, I thought you meant, like, Internet Blood Sports. But you mean Irritable Bowel Syndrome. I was gonna say, there was that one Drunken Peasants recently with, uh... With Ethan, Ralph, and Vosh, like, going the fuck at it. Like, that was... I was watching that one, and that felt like classic internet blood sports right there. Yeah, drunk. I o I always thought I guess because he was at the time the biggest guy in the show. I always thought Drunken Peasants be as being TJ's show, so I didn't know they were going to continue without him until they did. That reminds me, I gotta see, uh... I know there is a shit show going on in the kill stream tonight with I Don't Diorio and Augie, we're all gonna be on it. Um, and I know Diorio was getting getting a little uh, tipsy beforehand, which... Well, you know... The same picture I found always the kick it up computer. a notch. That's me in the middle. What do you see? 
What's wrong, Riara? Having trouble sleeping? I feel uneasy, but I don't know why. It's as if some why do you have a unibrow all of a sudden? Why do you have a, a onion face? This is my own. That, that there, there's probably a clue on the table. Let's use some billiard balls. Three ball, nine ball are missing. Get an alpha. Game's pretty cool so far, although the combat is goofy as fuck. And I do wish that the items that are around could be seen. And not just click it on stuff. So I guess I got paintings I gotta find, and I have pool balls I gotta find. Like that, like there's nothing to indicate that there's Del Mentor table, but there I just me knowing that the game places stuff around. Nalcon is the green attack bar that I have. It's kind of like a psychic force push thing. Oh, okay, this is the same thing. I actually think I'm gonna end the stream here because I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs>